I could never have imagined that I'd be documenting things like that in my own country, near my home. War correspondent Evgeny Malaletka says he relives what he saw in Ukraine's Mariupol over and over. Millions have seen the pictures, especially ones made at a maternity ward at a local hospital, even if they don't know Malaletka's name. We went to the hospital where all the women were evacuated, and we ended up being surrounded in that hospital. The building next door was occupied by Russians. They opened fire. Malaletka and his colleague Mstislav Chernov both work for the Associated Press and are originally from Ukraine. The reporters found themselves in Mariupol hours before Russia invaded Ukraine and were the last journalists to leave the city. For 20 days, they documented the life of locals under Russian occupation. It was a shock for us. Missiles would hit the children's ward, the maternity ward, where there were women and babies. Watching pregnant women being carried out of a hospital in such a state, it was very scary. They say the one thing Mariupol residents would ask the two journalists is to make sure the world saw what happened there. The reporters say Russian forces tried to capture them and tried to discredit their work. I didn't want to try Russian hospitality on myself, so the best thing we could do was run away. We spent the night at the hospital, and in the morning we got evacuated. Malaletka and Chernov left Mariupol a day before a local drama theater was bombed. Malaletka regrets not being there. Consul General of Ukraine Oleksiy Holubov believes this New York exhibition is yet another way to show the world what atrocities were committed in Mariupol. The more people see this, the more emotional signals those who make important decisions will receive. There will be less useless philosophizing about the extent to which the world should help Ukraine. After the exhibition closes in New York, it will continue its way across the globe. For Nina Vishnova in New York, NRA's VOA News.